hello some ninjas welcome back to class it's rose here so today we'll be talking about the addition and subtraction of integers but before we're able to know how to add and subtract integers we have to know how to multiply our signs right so let me show you a quick and easy way to know that i want you to note this before we're able to dive into adding and subtracting integers so when you have the same signs multiplied together you get a plus sign right and then when you have different signs multiplying each other you get a negative sign so that's why i noted it here when you have the same sign you have plus times plus gives you plus minus times minus gives you a plus because it's the same sign but when you have plus times minus or minus times plus you get a negative sign so knowing this we're able to now dive into adding and subtracting um, integers what do we say or what did we say about integers integers are numbers ranging from negative to positive right you have your minus two minus three plus two plus three and the rest so they are numbers from the negative side of the number line to the positive sign of the number line including zero okay what do we say number line is this is your number line right and then you have zero one two three four and it continues and on the left hand you have minus minus two minus three so this is your number line this continues so like it keeps going so we call this thing that we do not know the n to an infinity in another class we'll discuss infinity but this is the sign for infinity right we don't know where we're going so on this end we always refer to it as negative infinity and positive infinity okay so i haven't known this let's now add and subtract numbers if you're able to use your calculator you're able to count you will know that eight minus three is five how do we do this you could say one two three four five six seven eight and then you remove three one two three what are you left with one two three four five you see one method of doing that this is one method now using your number line yeah if you want to do anything like adding or subtracting integers this is what you do you're being told that eight minus three right you have eight this is your eight okay so now because there's a negative you will move this way you move to the left hand side if it's positive or addition you move to the right hand side so negative three means you count one two three so you stop here and then you know eight minus three is five this is the second method of doing this right in a question like this you're asked to find eight plus minus three we know that in mathematics you have to remove your brackets how do we do this you multiply your signs and just have something that would look reasonable right so yeah you know that you have eight now what did we say plus plus times minus is we say plus times minus is what minus because there are two different signs so this gives you five do you see that's the first one now let's do something else understand that you can use your number line to do this you can use your calculator you can use your counting method or you can use your head right <laughs> second one we have nine minus minus six right removing this bracket you know that you have nine minus times what minus is said to be what the same sign so therefore it gives you a plus right then you have six so nine plus six is 15. i'm saying something like this you're here thinking oh this is too much why 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 relax it's not too much you have your minus four plus times minus is minus right eight now when you have something like this you can use your number line like we said before there are two ways to do this right you're owing minus means you're owing somebody y plus means you have it in your pocket you're owing four and you're owing eight Altogether, you're owing how much 12. do you see this so this is one method of doing this another method of doing this is what's the sign in front of the bigger number the minus sign because eight is the bigger number 
8 is bigger than 4. So 8 is the bigger number. So you have minus in front of it. So that's the sign you would have. Now minus times minus is what? Plus. That means you add this number together. So you can use this method or you can use this method. This method of owing and having. Why you use this method of bigger number and this multiplication of the signs right i hope this makes sense let's do more examples now we have something like this right minus 14 minus minus 7 so you have your minus 14 minus times minus is plus and then you have 7 what did we say our first method you are owing for 14 you are owing 14 and you have 7 so when you give the 7 you have how much is left that you are owing you're owing seven right the second method is what's the sign in front of the bigger number minus so minus times plus is what minus that means you would subtract so 14 minus 7 is what so you can use whichever method okay it's still going to give you the right answer do not be confused it plus two what would you get the sign in front of the bigger number is what minus minus times plus is what minus so 8 minus 2 is or you are owing 8 right and you have to if you give to how much is left that you're owing i hope this is able to help you understand how to add and subtract integers right so i'm going to give you your own assignment Why not do this and let me know your answer in the comment section i hope you were able to understand what we did today adding and subtracting integers you have to know how to multiply your signs before you are able to add or subtract integers right so i hope to see you in the next class and i hope you enjoyed today's class bye